Isn't this amazing life? It's really amazing. Look at that cloud. We're in the ideal spot. works of art every day. The gifts of every day. The opening line today is, I am the Lord, there is no other. I form the light and create the darkness. relishing this for a moment because it's a unique opportunity and it's going to disappear very quickly because all that cloud is going to swallow up the light we have at the moment here this golden light I just hear some water here that I found a few, maybe actually during the spiritual exercise, I was walking along here in the afternoon, quiet time, and I heard the water. So this is more water coming in from the mountain. No wonder the reeds are growing well here. shells here. I'm not sure if we ever focused on those before in our sunrise stroll and chat. And then there's another very interesting line this morning in the in the psalm prayer. Let's just repeat that first one. I am the Lord, there is no other. I form the light and create the darkness. Let justice descend, O heavens, like dew from above, like gentle rain that the skies drop it down. I, the Lord, have created this. Let the earth open and salvation bud forth. I have created this, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord and there is no other.
Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth. We're reading from Isaiah. Very frequent reading in Advent. And then listen to this here. Uh, it's Psalm 85. Well, actually, the verse is used is from, uh, for the responsorial from Isaiah, also 45. Let the clouds rain down the just one and the earth bring forth a savior. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth and justice shall look down from heaven. Let the clouds rain down the just one and the earth bring forth a savior. So we have plenty of clouds and there was plenty of rain last night. How much exactly, I'm not sure. It's so clear here. Look at that. That's the direction of Mount Hermon, which I cannot see at the moment. Yeah, I think I can see a little bit, but I'm not even going to try to show it to you. It's so faint. There we're looking northwest and we have all that light from the rising sun to the southeast of us. So actually the promise of rain for today is pretty done. It'll be cloudy but not raining, apparently. I'm happy for the excavation over there around our second synagogue now. If you didn't hear about that, check out the posts of the last two days on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. All the links are inside here, attached to the post. I just like the way the light is now. I don't like to leave this spot. Oh, oh, look at the sun is going to come out here on the right. I think, I think it's going to come out over here. Unless the cloud goes down too quickly, but it looks like it's coming out here on the right of that, that spot. At the same time, I want to go for a walk and this is not the best place for me walking. So let's see how we do this. This is piles of sand in here from the storms. Amazing how, you know, sand is heavier than water and yet the waves can bring that in. Tons of it, hundreds of tons of it. Millions of tons of it around the, the surface of the oceans, around the perimeter of the oceans. It is always wonderful to find flowing water. Except in your basement, in the wrong place. <laughs> the challenge of dealing with water. An amazing substance. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're getting some of the sun here, people. Look at this. Look at this. What a surprise, given that amount of cloud, who would have imagined? And all that cloud is going to be between us and the sun in the next hour or two, or well, less, than, less than an hour probably. Oh, I'm so happy about this now. camera's a little bit off balance and I don't know why that is but as long as it's working and we can see well I've turned on this software that's appropriate to the gimbal and that's uh, affecting things and I still am not completely familiar with it or just barely becoming familiar with it
our lovely Sea of Galilee. Let the clouds rain down the just one and the earth bring forth the Savior. This is our morning light and sound show. <laughs> Look at that valley. It's funny, the phone is doing more lullaby type of little movements. To be alive, to have some measure of health and functionality, or a great measure of health and functionality in mind and body and soul. To be appreciative, to be thankful. Hello, Southampton. And then we have the figure of John the Baptist, the person of John the Baptist. Such an amazing character. And he is so strong in Advent. I have a kind of a, a little bit of a niche. I don't have the time to do it right now, but I just like to flip through all the pages of the lectionary and see how many days in Advent is John the Baptist literally mentioned. And it's many times, he's a great model of preparation, a great preparation, a person of preparation for the coming of the Lord. And he's the one who said to Andrew and John, behold the Lamb of God. We need people to point out our salvation for us. We need that. That's the way we, we, we get everything from everybody anyway. There's very few things we get in a straight DHL from God. It's all done through a few little things through angels in the course of the mystery of salvation recorded in the scriptures. But the majority is through other human beings. Even Mary, for example, once the angel left her, now everything that she's going to to uh, instructions and orientation for her life, it's coming from Joseph. And he's getting it through dreams. So there's a little bit of directness there. We have the case of Paul, Saul becoming Paul, that blast from heaven. But in general, 99.9% of our lives, the gifts we have, the clothes we wear, the language we speak, the culture we enjoy, the food we eat is prepared by others. And that mystery of providence, of divine providence, so 
treasuring human society, so treasuring the fact that we're community, so treasuring the fact that we re receive life from God through our parents, our physical existence, our, our personal existence, and everything else, the words we speak, the tones of voice, the way we look at people, the way we see the world, that's so, so mediated by others. All the way, all the way, all the way. And we have this man, John the Baptist, an outlier in his society, but chosen by God. And he's the one that points out to the first two disciples over there from Capernaum, right across there behind that tree, right behind that tree, right in front of us, that little narrow tree here in front, behind the rock. That's Capernaum, Mount of Beatitudes is to the left in the open space. And there uh, are kids being prepared in Bethsaida across the water as well. They're being prepared by their parents and their family, by their siblings for a big plan God has. And John the Baptist points out to Andrew and John, behold the Lamb of God. He's preparing the way for them. And then they follow. And then Andrew brings in Peter. And John's brother James comes on board. It's really an incredible mystery of how we're all woven together in a plan of salvation. People we might never have expected from far away, who speak other languages, who have other ways of being, other cultures, and the Lord can speak through them. That's why it's also very, very important to take great care, tender care of the migrants, not just the birds, but the migrants, the human migrants, because all of our cultures and societies have been migrant. Even Abraham and Joseph leading his family to Egypt, even though they were sending him in by slavery, selling him, betrayal of their brother for money. And yet God can work through all of that brokenness, all of that weakness. It's really amazing. People, lots to chew on there. And John the Baptist knows his place and he checks in with Jesus and he says, who are you? What are you up to? And that's what the gospel is about today. We can talk more about it maybe at Mass this evening and now on the Instagram as well. People, it's very, very nice to have you along this morning here at the Sea of Galilee on this amazing cloudy morning. I'm always trying to fix the, the settings there and trying to do the connections. So let me turn back to the nicer view here of the Sea of Galilee and say goodbye. See you later, alligators.